Hey, hello everyone. So today I will be sharing or discussing to you some examples on word problems involving loss of reflection and refraction. So for the first example we have here, in the figure below, material A is water and material B is glass with the index of refraction 1.52. The incident ray makes an angle of 60 degrees with the normal. Find the direction of the reflected and refracted rays. Now to answer this problem, we will uh, look at first our figure here. Now, so in the given figure, we have our NA as 1.33, or the index of refraction for water is 1.33, and the NB is 1.52, or the index of refraction for the glass. And then you can see here, this is our incident ray given as theta A equal to 60 degrees, and then we are going to look for the reflected ray or theta R, and then the refracted ray or theta B. So um, to, to answer this problem, we will write our given, we have our NA, that's 1.33, NB, 1.52, theta A, 60 degrees, and we are going to look for theta r and theta b. Okay, so theta r is again our reflected ray, and then our theta b is the refracted ray. Now, for theta r, if you go back or if you recall our law of refraction, our incident ray is equal to the reflected ray. Okay, or the angle that the incident ray makes is equal to the angle of our reflected ray. So theta r is just equivalent to theta a, which is 60 degrees. Now, what about theta b? Now, to look for theta b, we are going to use our law of refraction, which give us the equation or the formula Na sine theta a is equal to nb sine theta b. Now we are going to transpose this equation where we will be able to get our um, theta b. So first we are going to divide both sides by nb. Okay. So why nb? It is in order for us to cancel this out and we will be left with sine theta b on our right hand side okay and this becomes n a over n b sine theta a okay now i will going to write on the left hand side our sine theta b i will uh, directly substitute our given values uh, for n a that's 1.33 divided by 1.52 sine our theta A is 60 degrees. So calculate this using your calculator. You will be able to obtain 0 0.758. Now this is not yet our angle. So uh, in order for us to obtain our theta B, we have to do arc sine or sine raised to negative 1. 0 0.758 so in your in your calculator you can um input this by pressing shift and then sign so you will get the sign raised to negative one and then 0 0.758 it will give you that to be equal to 49.3 degrees now this is our um refra refracted ray and then this is our reflected ray. So this is now the answer for this problem. So for the next example, we have light traveling in air enters water with an angle of incidence of 45 degrees. If the index of refraction of water is 1.33, what is the angle of refraction? So for this problem, we have two mediums, the air and the water. So um, for the given, Take note that the index of refraction for air is always 1. 
for the angle of incidence, we have theta A, that's 45 degrees. And our second medium is water, so NB is 1.33. So here we are going to look for theta b. Okay, so we will do the same process as we did in um, example one, where we look for the angle of refraction. So we are going to use our law of refraction formula. That's n a sine theta a equal to n b sine theta b. Now we are going to transpose this equation where. Um, we will obtain this, or by transposing, you will have sine theta b equal to sine, I'm sorry, equal to Na over Nb sine theta a. So substituting the values, we have 1.00 over 1.33 sine 45. This will uh, give us 0. 532, this is your sine theta b. So theta b is equivalent to sine raised to negative 1 times 0 0.532. This will give you 32.1 degrees. Now this is our angle of refraction. Now for the third example, we have a particular glass has an index of refraction of n equal to 1.5. What is the critical angle for internal reflection for light leaving this glass and entering air for which n is equal to 1.00? So in this problem, we are going to look for the critical angle for the total internal reflection for light. Now, now note that for the for the critical angle, our angle of refraction is 90 degrees. Okay, this is for the total internal reflection. Now here we are going to calculate for critical angle, or that's that uh, subcrit. We have our N. This is for the glass index 1.50. Um, this is our NA. Okay, and then our NB is 1.00. It's because um, why we why is our glass the first medium? It's because our problem is um, or what we are looking for the problem is the light leaving the glass and entering the air. So it's from the glass to the air. So our Na is the glass and our Nb is the air. And then our theta B will be 90 degrees. So here we are going to look for theta A instead of theta B. Now theta A here is our is also our theta crit or the angle, critical angle. Now to solve this, we are going to use our law of refraction formula that's n a sine theta a and then n b sine theta b now for this case we need um, theta a so this will become sine theta a equal to n b over n a okay sine theta b so what we did here is to transpose this equation where we divide both sides by n a in order to cancel out n a at this side and then substituting the given sorry the given in the problem we have one divided by 1.5 sine 90 degrees now our sine theta a is equal to 0 0.667 Theta A is equal to sine negative 1, 0 0.667. This will give us 41.84. Now, this is our critical angle. 